Hello, this is Deb Joy. This week's mystery stamping. We are having a little bit of connection issues, so I apologize for any screens cutting in and out. But we're gonna charge forward and go right ahead. So if you're watching live or watching the replay, please say hello, make some comments, and talk to me throughout this video, even if you're watching on the replay. Make sure that you join my email list. The link is in the description. Can you hear me now? My um, computer keeps saying action and then it just, just mutes it. So I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully you can hear me now. If you are not on my email list, go ahead and join that in the in the comments there or in the description. Um, that's all I was saying. So, so that you can have the printable for the instructions here, which is also on our Facebook page, Stamp with Delight. All right, so we're looking at the date today of July, and we have all of the instructions here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my trimmer out, and I have a card base. I'm actually just using white. This is the thick white. And by the way, if you haven't bought the thick version of our basic white and you just have regular white and thinking that's probably good enough, you know what? It costs you maybe 1.8 cents more, I think it is, per base. <laughs> Once you do the calculations, it's really not that much more, but it feels so much better. So I highly recommend getting the thick if you haven't done that already. So this is just our regular half a sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. And that's that's all we need to do for the base. The next pieces that we wanted were two pieces of DSP that are four inches by two and five eighths. And really you could go this way or this way with these pieces if they have a pattern or if they're non-directional patterns, it'll work either way. It just, um, you'll just have to orient your card, you know, this way or opening this way. So let's go ahead and take these pieces. This is what we're gonna be doing in cutting. So this piece, my piece is oriented with four inches on top and the two and five eighths tall. So I'm going to cut this in half, whichever way your paper is, you'll just cut it in half on the long side. So uh, at four inches in half is at two inches. So we're gonna cut this one in half and then we're gonna do the same thing to this other one. And again, I got little foxes on here. They're so cute. And so my orientation will be up and down for this card. So two inches for this one. So I'm going to stack the different patterns together and we're going to do some cutting with these. I'm gonna take my first stack and I'm going to cut diagonally from the top left corner to the bottom right corner for both of those. I'm just making sure my little corners are in the track here and I want to make sure my cutting blade is going to be closed on the center of this paper and not come in from the top or the bottom, which could crumple those corners. So that is important to remember. I'm just going to let that fall there. Go up and down and that is it for those pieces. So I'm going to put those off to the side on my trimmer so I can see which cut I already made. I'm gonna take this one. This one is going to be not the same direction. We're gonna cut on the opposite direction. That's why I wanna keep this one here. So we already did left to right. Now we need to do right 
to left. So I need to tip it this way in the track. Just like that. Up and down, and there we have all of our pieces. Okay, so now we're just gonna lay all of these on the table and get the trimmer out of the way. Let's go ahead and burnish our card base while we have that out too. And there's my bone folder. <laughs> all right. So you can do a colored base too. And if you do have a colored base, you'll have a piece for the inside at four inches by five and a quarter, but I chose to do white. Let's go ahead and put these on here. Okay, so we have lefty corners and these pieces. All right, so this is a bit of a puzzle to do the next part. So we have all these pieces and what we want is the lines, the diagonal lines that are created here we want them to be radiating out from the center. So I'm gonna take this piece and go, okay, so this one can go here because this line is radiating out from the center. And then I have to find one of the opposite color that will match with that one to make a little rectangle right there. And then we're gonna go again and try to find the top right one of this color so we're going to go every other color in a circle here and then just keep going out, make sure the lines are coming out from the center. This one looks good here. It's going to be snug. All of our lines will have a little bit of white or whatever your base color is showing and um, just not much wiggle room here. So we're going to kind of neatly arrange this. This is where it gets a little fussy, right? We want to make sure that we are going to start gluing and have room for all of our pieces here. We probably could have started with some pieces that were a little smaller, but I think this, this looks good. Okay, so without bumping anything, I'm going to get my glue out and I'm going to glue one of these. So I'll just carefully take this one off. Oops. And blob my glue everywhere. <laughs> All right, so without trying to touch any of these other ones, maybe I'll just hold this one down here. And then we're just going to carefully add all of these pieces. trying to make our lines pretty even. That's why I'm using the liquid glue to get that right where I want it. Can you hear the thunder? We're just expecting thunderstorms tonight. Hopefully the weather's nice by you guys, but my kids, I signed up for soccer camp this week, and uh, the first day they had to have a delay because of thunderstorms. Yesterday was okay, but now they're saying they're probably going to cancel the whole thing today, and it was only four days long, so I wonder if we'll get to reschedule that or get a refund or, or what, but they are having fun, or they were when they were there. Very sweaty when they got picked up. They both had to take a shower. <laughs> All right, so we've got five panels on here. We'll just do the rest of these. Isn't this pretty? I love this paper. It's very quilt-like with the little patterns. And I should have said in my directions, the little, little patterns will work the best with this one. It is called, what is it called? I have it written down over here, but now my hands are all gluey. I'll, I'll tell you in a second. This one's actually not a fun fold. It's just a fun paper piecing one. Usually we do fun folds, huh? Thank you for sharing, Tony. Mm 
Yes, if you could share my videos, that would be very helpful to me. My son was trying to help me um, with my YouTube video I needed to do. I'm very close to um, getting my first paycheck from YouTube. <laughs> so it only took us uh, seven months or so. All right. So here is our pinwheel. Here it is. It's called pinwheel. We're just going to have a medium sized label for the center. And I just chose this cute little circle, the stitched circle. And I can, we can add some embellishments and then the card is done. This is pretty simple. It's just a little bit of paper piecing. And then I'll show you my alternatives. Okay, cute little thank you card. Oh, isn't that cute? I think that turned out really nice. Let's put some sequins on it, actually. My, my video seems to be running a little bit slower than my voice here, so hopefully it will catch up. So I've got my sequins here. These are called Pastel Adhesive-backed Sequins. I'm gonna get my take your pick tool out. I love this thing. Let's put the let's see if we can make this a little closer. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna take some of these blue sequins because I feel like they go really well here. I'm gonna do a big one and a little one, maybe another, maybe another big one over here. And two more little ones over here. Now it's all sparkly with a thank you. All right, let's go ahead and look at my alternatives here. So there's the first one. Now we have to zoom out, don't we? Maybe. We'll see. Okay. I am looking at my video and it is stuck. Okay, here we go. So here's the first one. I'm going to get out my second one here. So irresistible online exclusive DSP and I put some of our brass butterflies on there I thought that was really pretty so there's card number two and I just stamped the inside with a matching flower from the stamp set and then again here is the third card and I put sending you a handmade hug and I added, oh, did you hear that thunder? Oh my goodness, I hope we don't lose power. <laughs> Here are some more of those butterflies. I love these butterflies. We're having some connection issues, so hopefully the video will come up here so you can see it. Otherwise, I will be posting these pictures later also in the group, uh, Facebook group, Stamp with Delight. But here's this one. I this one has a stitch circle behind, and then and I added um, a very vanilla on top. So that one was very pretty too, and I just added some here. And again, my just a quick video today. It was a nice, easy card. Again, that is called the Pinwheel Quilt Card. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think they all turned out real pretty. And um, I'll go ahead and post those in the Facebook group tomorrow. That will post at 2. And you can post your picture right in that post. Thank you so much for watching. Also, today is a very exciting day for us demonstrators. We get to have a full month sneak peek today at our new holiday catalog in about 45 minutes. So I've been counting the hours down. And <laughs> I'll have to get all ready for that. And I get to make my wish list. I love making my wish list. So I'm really excited today. But thank you. I'll put my face back on here to say goodbye. It'll let me. <laughs> Tony, you can't wait. I know. I'm so excited. Christmas stuff. It's going to be full of Christmas stuff and fall and Halloween. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, let me know which one of these is your favorite. And have a fabulous day, guys. Bye.
I don't know if it ended yet. <laughs> Maybe. I pushed the button. Now I have to wait for a response from the website. If I'm still live, goodbye again. <laughs> I don't know if I'm still